I'm back. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. All right, hey there, fashion friends. Welcome to today's episode. I'm very happy that you are here with me today. Yes, I have been kind of on a little bit of a hiatus or MIA uh, for the last week or so because of basically moving into our new house, which is super exciting. I'm a pretty optimistic person <laughs> for the most part, but I feel like this move did kick my butt a bit. I've got like my temporary kind of studio setup, which will be good. As time goes on, I'll kind of, it'll improve and evolve. I do apologize for the sound. The, I have not kind of worked out the acoustics. My studio is basically in our garage. So I gotta, gotta sort out the acoustics. So the sound might be a little bit echoey today. Um, so I do apologize for that, but work in progress, like I said. Now that we've got that out of the way, why are we here today? What are we talking about on today's episode? We are looking at simple styling tips for all body shapes and types. So I'm sure some of you are wondering why we're talking about this because on my last episode, it was my Q and A and somebody had asked me why I never speak to body shapes or body types. And what I said in that episode or my answer to that was basically that I feel like I've done videos in the past and it didn't quite sit with me right because I do ultimately feel to my core that it does boil down to just wearing what you love. I, I'm a firm, firm believer in that when you wear something that you love, that you feel confident in, that exudes and it ultimately is the best thing for you to wear. Um, and I do think sometimes people with these body shape theories or these body type theories, um, they almost take it too literal and they don't allow for themselves to kind of go outside of that um, and they end up you know, maybe making sacrifices on the actual style or pieces or silhouettes that they actually want to wear um, because of what they're supposedly not supposed to be wearing. That's not to say that I don't believe that a lot of these theories or these um, guides for styling for your body shape or, you know, dressing for your body shape aren't great. I do think they're great tools and I think there's a lot of value there. And I think that when you take it kind of as more of, you know, just some rough guidelines or some maybe just go-to things that you can maybe pick and choose what you want to implement into your wardrobe, then that's fine. Maybe it's my, the minimalist in me. I think it can be a lot more simple than that. I don't think it has to be so complicated unless you want it to be. But I do think sometimes that can be a little bit overwhelming. That can be overwhelming to maintain. It can be overwhelming as an approach. So I think for today's video, what I'm trying to do is basically just streamline that and just give you my five simple go-to tips for you to just use on a daily, daily basis that will work for every single body type and every single body shape. Okay, so for my five simple tips, we're actually gonna be spelling out the word beach. Yes, that is right, B-E-A-C-H. Yes, easy, easy one to remember, right? Yeah, just a little mnemonic device. Is that what it is, mnemonic? Is it a mnemonic device? Comment below if that's, <laughs> if there's another meaning for that when it spells out a word. Anyways, with that, let's get started. Como son? Okay, so beach. B is for balance. When it comes to body shapes or body types, I think this is the biggest one that people are kind of focused on. And I think it's the biggest one that most of these guides uh, use because it's more referring to kind of balancing out your shape. And so just for an example, meaning if you're somebody that is an apple shape, so basically you've got, you know, the wider upper half and a smaller lower half. Ultimately, the idea is there with most of these is that then on the bottom half is where you want to have your volume, your details, you know, your details of patterns, maybe your bolder colors, anything that's gonna kind of add that volume, that attention to your bottom half, because it's obviously smaller. And then the idea is to then kind of minimize your upper half, maybe with more minimalist pieces, um, more neutral pieces. Now, again, 
that is to each their own um, because I think, yeah, sometimes maybe you are an apple shape and you don't want to not draw attention to your chest or to your shoulders. I think just then be mindful of your bottom half. Um, I do think it's good to be aware of your body shape and not necessarily, you don't have to be like a specific apple or pear or rectangle or hourglass, whatever. Just more being aware of your shape. Like, do you have big shoulders? Do you have long legs? Do you have a short torso? Do you have really small hips? Do you have really big hips? Like, do you have really small waist? So like, whatever it is, just being aware of all the kind of different shapes and volumes of your body. So then just choosing pieces that balance that shape. But again, this is something to take, take it or leave it. Because sometimes I've seen people not embrace the balance for their body shape and they look fierce and beautiful and amazing. So it really is something that you can choose whether or not you want to implement. Okay, E is for elongate. So to elongate is to basically increase length, to give the illusion of length. Now, of course, this is what most of us want, um, us five, five, folk, but obviously there are taller people out there as well who don't really want to elongate. So this would be one that you probably would dismiss because obviously you don't need to be elongated. But I think for most people, like the average height, or especially if you're somebody that's petite, if you're if you're shorter, then yeah, you, you want to elongate because elongating gives the illusion of being slimmer. It's just more elegant, I guess. I don't know. It's just it's a thing, I guess. It's, I don't know why we like to be look longer, but we do. So I'm sure there's some science to it. My little rule of thumb or my little go-to thing is usually elongating begins with the legs for sure. I think if you elongate the legs, you're good to go. So for that, here are a few examples. First one being flares. Flares are a great tool for elongating. I think because of the curves to flares, it also is very flattering in the sense of kind of giving you those added curves, especially somebody like me who is like a rectangle shape. But I think it even works for people that have curves already because it balances out your curves. So I just think they're a great go-to silhouette for bottoms for pretty much for most body types, I'd say. Along with that, if they're a long length, basically any sort of pants when they're longer in length are going to elongate. But um, if you have them high-waisted and a long full length where maybe you need to wear heels with them, that is ultimately gonna give you probably one of the best elongating illusions out there for sure. And again, no matter what size you are, I think going tight always makes it right. The next one is high-waisted bottoms, high-waisted jeans, high-waisted pants, high-waisted skirts. I think going high-waisted always elongates because ultimately it's lengthening your legs. If you're wearing low rise, it usually cuts your legs off down lower, but because it's all connected, it definitely gives that illusion of longer legs, as well as that it kind of elongates the hips um, and the waist area. So it kind of gives more curves as well. The other example is heels. I think obviously <laughs> heels have height and they add extra height to your legs, to your body. So they're a great tool for elongating, especially when it's combined with a longer length pant. So if you have really long wide leg trousers or a really long legged flare um, combined then with heels, golden. That is like the master trick to adding length or to elongating. Now, if you are somebody that doesn't like wearing heels, I totally get it. I used to be a heels gal all day, every day. And now the last probably like five years, not, not so much. I don't wear them on a regular basis. They just don't work for my everyday life. So if you're somebody like that, um, like me, then I would say um, platforms are a great alternative. That's kind of what I go for is just finding shoes with a good platform or platform, I guess you could call some of them um, because you're gonna get that added height, that added length, um, but just more comfortably, more comfortably, more practically. And um, I just feel like it's a lot more uh, fun functional. Okay, A is for accentuate. I believe that you find like what you love most about your body 
and accentuate it. Because what that will ultimately do is it'll make you feel better about yourself. Builds your confidence and builds your style and just ultimately has a very good ripple effect. For an example, I love my booty. I do, I love my booty. I've always loved it. You know, it's not the same as it used to be for sure. Like, gosh, I used to have one perky, one perky beautiful booty. <laughs> um, anyways. That is probably one of the biggest reasons why I love wearing jeans because I love my booty in jeans and it makes me feel good. It makes me feel fierce. So that is just a, a sort of an ex example. Um, as well as that, I do really like my body shape, but I, I am very rectangular. I'm very, have like, you know, the, the rectangle body shape, but I do have really slight curves. So that's also why I like to wear tight clothes, why I like to wear tight jeans that really emphasize the little curves that I have. Maybe it's that you love your curves. Maybe you're super curvy and you love those curves. Girl, show off them curves. Maybe you love your chest. Girl, nothing wrong with showing some classy cleavage. No, go for it. Maybe it's your wrists. Show off your wrists somehow. Make sure you're like choosing pieces that show your beautiful little dainty wrists or whatever. Main thing for this is it's a good exercise, not only for, you know, obviously your style choices, but I think it's also a good exercise for your own personal confidence, to build your own personal confidence, to focus on the body parts that you love and are excited to show off and really make sure that you're accentuating those. And if that means that you have to kind of disregard some of the, you know, body type or body shape tips out there, then maybe you should. Okay, C is for compartmentalize. I'm definitely like obsessed with compartmentalizing. I'm obsessed with like gritting, like maybe because I was a visual merchandiser and I did a lot, did it a lot in my, my job. I think most people like it for the fact that it's very satisfying to look at a gridded compartmentalized picture. I like to take that same approach to my outfits. I like to take that same approach to my style because I speak to being intentional with our style, with our clothes a lot but now I'm speaking to being intentional with the silhouette, with the compartments of your outfit. So a little go-to kind of example of this for me is the three-piece look. Um, this is where you wear a high-waisted pair of jeans or bottoms, uh, skirt, whatever it is, with a shirt, and you tuck that shirt into your waistline, so you're showing off your waistline. You can also, do this with your hip line, like if you prefer to wear something low-waisted and show off your and um, show the hip line, that's fine too. But ultimately, you're showing the compartments of your body. You're showing your upper half and you're showing your bottom half um, with these two pieces. And there's a line, so there's kind of your first part of your grid. And then your third piece is going to be a open layer. Uh, maybe it's an open cardigan, open blazer, open jacket whatever it may be. And usually for this, it's gonna be a mid length layer or a long length layer. And the idea for this is because you've got those two compartments in the middle. And then the idea is you want to frame those two compartments with your open layer. That's kind of my little go-to grid for my outfits. Um, you could probably get the same effect with like, let's say a dress, like a long dress and belting that dress and wearing a mid length layer with that. Um, but the idea is basically showing off, you know, the top, the bottom, and then having a framing piece. We could go into a lot, but that's basically the one I would say is the most common, most commonly used, most go-to one in my book. All right, and H is for heighten. I mean this one figuratively and not literally. So for me, it's all about pushing yourself, pushing yourself a little bit further, whether it's with your style, whether it's with your confidence, whether it's with your love for yourself. So little exercises you can do for this is when you go grocery shopping, wear your favorite power pants. Mine, black and white vertical striped pants. Yeah, I'm gonna rock them. I'm gonna rock them at Whole Foods. Go into your kid's soccer game, wear a dress with sneakers. Go into a wedding, wear a suit instead of a dress. The 
idea for this is basically to push yourself in the sense of being unexpected is kind of going against the grain or separating yourself from the herd. Uh, let's see, is there any other cliches I can think of? So an example for me is a few years ago when we moved to Portland from Southern California, um, I didn't really know anybody. So at the time I had a little one-year-old and you know, I didn't have know anybody or have any friends. So you know, I had to kind of put myself out there. And so I started to go to this story time um, for, you know, one to two year olds at the library. And ultimately it's just, you know, probably like 15 to 18 parents with their little babies. And yeah, I mean, the normal kind of attire was definitely loungewear or athleisure or just, you know, very just kind of basic looks, which is fine, which is totally fine. And still really good style within that. There's still plenty of good style for me. I took this opportunity because it was one of my times that I actually got out of the house and saw people, saw other people in like a social environment. So I took that opportunity to style like full on looks, like full on outfits that I felt just fierce in. And you know, and so I was definitely unexpected. I was definitely, um, you know, separating myself from the herd. And I did get some condescending compliments like, oh, well, aren't you dressed? dressed up or, oh, well, where are we going after this today? Or what are we doing today? Um, just, you know, whatever, which is to be expected. And that's fine. Um, but I also got so many compliments. I got so many people kind of approaching me for that reason. Um, and you know, it was great because it was also too sort of a icebreaker. It was sort of a way for people to approach me and, and talk to me because they could easily comment on what I was wearing. And in, in, in result, I actually ended up meeting one of my closest friends in Portland through that story time because we bonded over clothes basically. So, um, yeah. And obviously being mothers to cute little boys, but, um, but it was really the clothes that kind of opened, opened the door. So I do just think it's such a great way just a great exercise for a bunch of different reasons. And it's not something you always have to do. Um, it's not like when I go grocery shopping, I'm always like styled to the nine. Sometimes when I go grocery shopping, I look extremely, extremely basic, you know? Um, but it's just more about in certain moments that you feel comfortable, yeah, push yourself a little bit further, push yourself out of the comfort zone, you know, just heighten your abilities. Um, for so many things, um, your abilities to style, your ability to go outside of your comfort zone and your ability to have that confidence in yourself. So I guess what I'm saying, my main point of this is no matter what your body shape, no matter what your body type is, you don't need to accept the expected. Always heighten. All right, my beautiful fashion friends, that is it for today. That is beach. Yes, what a beach. That was silly. Um, so when you are in a mode of you're just not really sure how to style for your body shape or your body type, remember beach. Yes, balance, elongate, accentuate, compartmentalize, and heighten. Yes. Again, I just want to reiterate that I do think that a lot of these body shape theories and body shape guides out there are great. And I think they're great tools and it's definitely something to be aware of and definitely familiarize yourself with. But I do also think don't let that be dictating everything in your wardrobe. Don't let that be dictating your style. Ultimately just pull what works for you, what still makes you feel like the best version of yourself and yeah, I mean, I think that is kind of the best of both worlds that way. Definitely comment below and let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you think that I'm completely wrong. If you think that these body shape theories have completely changed your world and they are the future of style or comment below if you agree with kind of trying to find a good middle ground or maybe you just think it's all complete BS. I don't know, but comment below. Let's have that conversation. And uh, yeah, if you did like today's episode, you know what to do. Give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends and subscribe for future weekly episodes if you have not already. And if you have, make sure to click that bell to get notified when I post my new episodes so you never miss this face. 
All right, you guys, you have a beautiful rest of your day. Stay healthy. I mean that. Stay healthy, stay safe, love, and support each other. And we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye.